Have you ever, you said you dove this spot, right? I think we are good whenever you're good. So this is dive number two with the Sea Keeper crew. We had just uh, hit that Wahoo and African Pompano spot and landed those two nice fish. My buddy Caleb had dove this spot once before and said it was loaded with bait and big goliaths everywhere and he thought that it would hold a black. I thought it was a little bit shallower but we are way south and the black groupers come in shallower down that way. Um, so this, this spot ended up paying out for us. So here's a big school of yellow jacks, which we typically don't see up further north where I'm at. I mean, we see some smaller ones, but these ones are decent size. I was very tempted to take one to add to the uh, shishimi list with the wahoo and the African pompano, but I figured I'd go ahead and see what's on on the bottom. Looking through the bait, I can make out that nice black grouper. I decided to throw a power head on to try to save some shafts. Everything got spooked off when that Jewfish burned and went into the hole. Luckily, he peeked back out. still very much alive and my hands are actually locked up in his gills. You can see me struggling there a little bit to get him out. I'm trying to knife him here but end up breaking the tip of my knife off so I can't ever really get a good kill on him. I tried bleeding him out as well because Going a little overboard on stabbing him, but I know I didn't really kill him yet because that tip is gone. I can still feel his uh, gills are still locked up, so I know he's alive. This is gonna come back to bite me later on in the dive at the surface. I can't have a fucking hurt.
So it looked like Caleb checked out the hole pretty good. It's just a recreational trip, so I don't really care how much fish we get. We're already uh, loaded down pretty well. Everybody's gonna have plenty to take home to eat. So I'm just gonna swim around until he's uh, ready to go. Looks like he's ready. pretty excited that his spot held a nice black on it. He hit it a while back and uh, they got a bunch of red grouper rod and reel actually and um, he dove it and came back telling me that he believed it would hold one. He had just gotten one a couple of weeks ago in, in, in the area on another spot less than five miles away so we knew they were there. fish is starting to float so I'm gonna try to pop his swim bladder so I can carry him up and not have to send him up. The crew that we're with isn't really used to the diving program so I don't really want to put him up on a buoy and make him grab him. I'll just swim him to the boat. You have to pop them so they don't float you up too fast though if you want to do that. So here as we get closer to the surface, I guess he feels that pressure change, which a lot of fish do and they start to wake up. Well, he started taking me for a little ride and I wasn't quite ready for it. He's still alive, so watch out. Yeah, I was gonna check. Woo! I was after the little one. There was another one there? That's smaller one. Oh, shit, I didn't see him. Dude, I, I broke my knife on his skull and I couldn't freaking kill him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, that's good stuff. <clears throat> 
Dude, he was good all the way up until the last 10 feet. He went crazy, didn't he? He didn't like... What do y'all think about that? Add that to the wahoo, baby. I've been wanting to get back to that cave. I thought it was gonna hold a black. Oh. Yeah, he's still... Came back to life. He was dragging me around. <laughs> <laughs> 